All right, so I think that this is the reverb I've been waiting my entire life for. I've been lucky enough to record music in incredible rooms like Fantasy Studios and Skywalker Sound and have gotten to use pretty much every Holy Grail reverb unit that's out there from EMT plates to Lexicon 480Ls. But ever since I discovered the magic that's behind some of my favorite records of all time, I've been chasing the feeling of the reverb that comes from Sound City. And lucky for me and I think lucky for you too, Universal Audio has modeled Sound City to bring that reverb right into our DAWs. So in this video, I'm going to give you my first reactions to it, and we'll find out if this really is one of the best reverbs ever. All right, let's dive in. Please hit like and subscribe because it helps keep this channel and this video moving. Let's go. What's up, everybody? How's it going? I'm Brad Dollar. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. So what exactly is Sound City, and why does it deserve its own reverb plugin? To put it simply, for almost 40 years, Sound City was the epicenter of American rock and roll, gave birth to some of the most landmark albums of the last 100 years, and helped shape the aesthetic that we expect from analog recordings, especially ones made with Neve consoles and tape, which were two of the biggest components in the overall impact of Sound City on any album or song that was made there. But the third and arguably most important component of what made Sound City so great was the live room itself. Now, many people say that on paper, this thing shouldn't sound as good as it does, but when it comes to big rock drum sounds, cavernous guitars, beautiful vocals, and a great sound that just seems to work in almost any song, it came to life and imparted a beautiful and unforgettable character on all the music that it touched. From Fleetwood Mac's Rumors to Nirvana's Nevermind and other classics like Tom Petty's Damn the Torpedoes. This place, and especially this room, truly helped cultivate the sound of modern rock and roll. And with so many big studios, including Sound City, having vanished over the years, getting access to reverb like this for our own music is becoming increasingly difficult. So being able to have anything close to this at our disposal brings you and I just one step closer to the magic that we're always chasing. So let's get right down to it. I can't wait any longer. I just want to hear this thing on some tracks. I'm going to switch over to Pro Tools now, but this plugin is available on pretty much any DAW that will accept the UAD extension. I'm going to be using the UAD X version, but if you have the UAD DSP hardware version of this, they work just the same. So without further ado, let's go. All right, so let's get right into it. Here's Sound City Studios by UAD. So first impressions, just from looking at this thing, there's already way more details and features in this than I expected, which I'm super excited about. If you've used their Capital Chambers or their Motown Hitsville reverb, you'll find a lot of the same controls here and then some. Now, obviously this doesn't affect the sound at all, but I do like getting to see the studio. It helps me, you know, feel a little more connected to being in a recording studio and not just, you know, my space in my house. So I do enjoy that. So let's go over some of the basics that are here. What I already like about this is that they're not trying to paint an absolute abstract picture of how to use a room type simulation like this. Right off the bat, you're given five scenarios in which you'd use a room like this. And then everything about the settings you change is derived from that. In each of the different settings, the room mics are in different positions and different combinations. It's important to note that this is based off a real room in reality. So you'll never get like infinite long reverb out of this. This wasn't a big warehouse. This wasn't a big hangar or church. It's just a classic recording studio with some very long reverb time available to you. But just to set your expectations, you're not going to get the big long infinite reverb from this particular unit. However, you could definitely stack this with another reverb after it to get that if you want. But as we're about to find out in a moment, that's actually built in. Before we get there, let's take a look at a few of the the options available to us inside of these rooms. You have lots of great mic options. And one of the things I'm really happy to see is a built-in mixer as well as some built-in processing. I really didn't expect those features to be in this plugin and I'm so used to running other plugins after my effects. And in fact, an effects bus to process them and give them a little bit of EQ and compression when needed. So it's really nice that this is built in, especially the compressor, which has different types of compression built into it, different modes like the air and encode, which are like high end only type compression, which is really nice for reverb where you only want to affect that part of it. It's kind of like you multi-band compressed it, but it's awesome that there's actually a compressor built into this for you to use right here. Again, with processor heavy units like this, processor heavy plugins like this, if you're gonna put it on, it's really nice if it can do more than just one trick. If you're trying to create one cohesive sound, this is a great way to do it. And then last but not least, you can use this plugin either on the tracks themselves or in a traditional fashion where you have it on a bus and you're sending your tracks to the bus where you can mix the return in and out as much as you want. All right, I think that's enough gabbing. I really wanna hear this thing now. Okay, so here's my track Blackout. If you really like the song and you're not tired of hearing me use it in demos yet, you can hear it on my Spotify. But here it is dry without any other reverb on it. All 
right, so let's start with drums because that sound is what Sound City is really known for. Let's go. Gonna make sure that the mix is all the way up. Perfect, we'll go ahead and just solo that. I mean, honestly, it sounds really nice. It sounds like a nice room. Play with some different mics too. C12s, put the C12s up. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool the C12 is just one mic. Nice, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. It really does feel like a bigger room. Let's stay on the drums for a moment longer and just try out some of the other spaces. Here's the tight space, which moves a bunch of gobos around it. I'm gonna crank the second room up because that's kind of what I want out of this is the bigger room sound. Bad. Let's try the corner. Nice. Definitely a different sound. So even just without changing too much else, without even going to the processing, the drum room itself has a lot of different variability. Now it would take forever for us to go through every single stem on every single setting. So you should get a trial and check it out. But just for fun, let's hear a different room setup on the drums. Let's go to the strings. Take the close out. Let's just go for the big rooms. On this one, you can raise the height up and down, which is pretty cool. Nice. There's a lot of variability in probably a million different combinations of room sounds you can get. So definitely play with this. The last thing I wanna show while we're still on the drums to kind of make it all a cohesive idea of what you can do with this plugin is play with some of the processing. So we've got a little bit of EQ in right now and I have a little bit of compression going too because it makes the reverb a little more explosive. And for a track that's kind of already done like this, it helps bring it forward a little more. And then I've also switched in the chamber. Chamber is just taking the room mic output themselves, going into an actual chamber emulation of what was there, and then bringing it back. So, in effect, making the reverb sound you get just a little bit longer and a little sweeter, which is really nice for slower songs. And definitely keep in mind that I'm moving quickly through this, and you should take more time to slow down, dial things in, and get sounds that you're really excited and proud of, and to make sure that they really fit into your track. But there are no wrong answers. Please play with this stuff, try it, experiment, and find your favorite way for how to use it. Let's go to the vocal. Way, the vocal. The now I've left the plug in the exact same way, it's still in the drum setup. All right, that's, that's definitely like a drum room sound on a vocal. Let's try one of the actual vocal presets here on the Sound City Reaver plugin. I'll go for group. In this setting, oh, they've got a C24, that's awesome. There's one stereo close mic, I love that. The C24 is one of my favorite mics ever. This is another one where the second pair of room mics is fixed, 
so it's probably just the furthest distance that you can possibly get in this room, and I love that. You know, what's really nice about this vocal setup is that there's actually like this brighter room sound and then this like darker room sound and something in the middle, so you can really play with this and get a nice feel and a nice blend out of it. This is actually one of my favorite types of reverb sounds. It took me a long time to figure out was actually really useful in mix. We usually like longer reverb on vocals and we listen to shorter reverb like this, we're like, oh, I just want a little more. But having something like this in addition to a longer reverb really does create a bigger sense of space and more depth in your mix. So that's an easy thing to overlook because it's not like a glamorous, long, big, beautiful reverb sound, but it's actually something our ears really respond to wonderfully. So I like plugins that do this. I like stuff that takes all that guesswork out of it and reminds us of the simplicity of what sounds can really be and how effective they really are and making us feel connected to the music we're listening to. However, with that said, I'm a reverb junkie. So let me put the chamber on this and see what it does. Somebody turn the lights on now. Somebody turn the lights on It's pretty saucy. Somebody turn the lights on now. Somebody turn the lights on now. Somebody turn the lights on now. That's a beautiful tail. I kind of want to just hear it in the mix for a second. Let me let me uh, unsolo this and take the drums out. definitely could like lean towards being a little messy so having that EQ in there is really helpful that's definitely a beautiful reverb layer to have in your overall sound for sure cool and then real quick while we're still in the vocal I want to go to this PA setup because one thing they did at Sound City a lot was to just use the room like a reverb chamber and play existing tracks back through it PA speakers in this room creating reverb is one of the hallmark sounds of Sound City so I love that that's actually an option let's hear it on the vocals and see what it does <laughs> In this kind of example, I'd probably lose the close mics. I would just want the, the distance. I mean, that is a classic room vibe. I don't really have anything else in my arsenal that sounds like this. I love that this thing is just a real room. And I know there's other plugins like this, like the Ocean Way plugin is out there like this. And this thing just feels like reality. And I think that if I was to build a fresh mix with this in mind as the overall reverb sound, I think I'd be able to create something really special. Right now, it feels a little bit like I'm just adding it on top of something. But I think if you knew you were creating in and for this space, it's going to open up a really cohesive pathway to get some beautiful reverb sounds that not just make you feel excited and get you to a great end result, but that also sounds very familiar to listeners everywhere. Before we go, let's just hear what it sounds like on everything. And then I'll switch it on and off so you can hear for yourself the impact of it on the mix and the energy that it's adding or taking away. So let's go. This room used on a little bit of everything and in moderation or in a lot on each source really does add some reality and some realistic energy to it that I'm usually chasing. So definitely give this thing a shot, try it in different contexts, be sure to try it on the individual tracks themselves and play with the different settings. See what different elements and different variations can give you. This thing is awesome. Seriously, I was about to spend the $300 that this cost to just buy the plugin by itself. And then when I found out it's in the UADX subscription that I already have, I just like, I just lost it. And that's what led to me making this video. And so now I'm so excited to have shared it with you. And I hope you give it a shot too. You can go online and get a free trial. So even if you don't have UAD hardware or UADX, go get a trial, hear what this thing sounds like. So at least you can get a feel for what Sound City really was like. Bringing real spaces and real gear and real energy into the music that we make in the box. Even though it's an emulation, using things like this that are based on real life will ultimately help the music that you make feel like it really belongs to the listeners that it finds. So thank you so much for watching. I super 
Super, super appreciate you being here. Please hit subscribe and hit like. It seriously helps the channel a ton. I couldn't do this without you. So thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you again. Until next time, bye-bye.